first thing I want to say after we did the introductions is uh, I want to say happy birthday, St. Louis. The kickoff of the city's 250th anniversary got off on schedule last Friday, but not exactly as planned. This news conference with the mayor, the county executive, Forest Park Forever director, and STL 250 boss was supposed to take place in Forest Park before the Burn and Love Festival. But icy weather forced postponement, and the kickoff of the events and the Cake Way to the West birthday cake project, that had to be moved to City Hall. 250 of these will be located throughout the 15-county bi-state region. They represent the places we love most, the places that are landmark sites that are important to us in terms of history and culture. The Cakeway Project has its own phone app that helps you find the cakes and read about why they're there. It's a kind of historical, cultural scavenger hunt. But this, this was just the start of things. And the city is born. On Saturday in City Hall, the founding of St. Louis was reenacted on the steps of the rotunda. 1963, Chateau and Pierre Leclerc, with 20 oarsmen, rode more... In some ways, it felt like a really old-fashioned kind of civic celebration, but there were important differences. The diversity of the early settlers, this wasn't political correctness, this was historical correctness. And the Osage Indians were recognized as key to St. Louis's success. And today's chief was an honored guest and speaker. After all, he also has a chuteau in his family tree. There, there are many families within the Osage um, that married, uh, uh, intertwined with the French. Osage women set up processing centers for deer hides, turning out thousands of buckskins a year. And so that St. Louisans and tourists can be reminded of the city's French origins when these celebrations are over, there will be new signs downtown showing the French names that Pierre Laclede had given his streets. There were some reenactors that day at the south leg of the arch where it all began, but the real kickoff party opened to everybody. That was Tuesday night on Art Hill. The theme was still burn in love, even though it had been moved from Valentine's Day because of the weather. But despite that delay, everything was still in place. The food tents, the stage, the entertainers. Couples were getting engaged or re-engaged, and there was the big burn in heart. All of this just the kickoff to a year-long celebration of what many are calling just the first 250 years.